Okay, Dr. Sardar, thank you so much for your time. Um, we have gathered and we've been, it's a pleasure for us to get you in uh, India, Fourth India Association Congress that we are organizing, CIM Global. Uh, would you kindly let us know, uh, we know that you've been the past, you have been the past presidents of uh, both Arthroplasty Association and Indian Orthopathic Association. So if you can let us know a little bit about your association. Uh, actually, we, uh, I was president of the West Bengal Orthopedic Association and the West yes. Bengal Arthroplasty Association. Right. Now this uh, happened, this, we are really a chapter of the Indian Orthopedic Association. Right. And uh, we have several associations, big ones going. Right. Now the West Bengal Orthopedic Association has about 700 members. Yes. And uh, we've been in existence for a pretty long time, right. almost uh, 20 years. Right. And the West Bengal Arthroplasty Society came into existence about uh, seven years ago, okay. in which when the importance of arthroplasty operations started uh, going on and gained popularity. Right. And since then we had uh, arthroplasty surgeons forming their own association right. uh, to deal with their own peculiar uh, problems and what could be done about it. Mm. And it's a great pleasure coming out here because uh, you see the association part of it that goes on mm. in these medical circles right. is very voluntary. Yes. Uh, they just people come together and then they get going and they organize a conference and uh, it's really not uh, placed in a uh, proper scientific way. With an objective really, and yes, a goal. Yes, mm. and it's yes. not really uh, put together in the sense that uh, not many people know what we are doing on the larger scale yes. and how we should go about it to improve the performances. Right. And uh, assessment of ourselves is not done by external organizations. Mm -hmm. We sort of a few people say that oh, this conference was good and that was bad. Right. But uh, there's a terrible lot uh, of which I think areas in which we can improve on. Mm. But they do play these associations a very, very important role yes. in medical education, medical mm. practice, mm -hmm. uh, creating areas of excellence. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is huge. So there are many areas in which we need to learn. Right how to work as an organization as such. And how to take it to the next level. Exactly. Yes. And there's a lot of things can be done. You see, we are all specialists in our field. Right. But when it comes to this thing, which is not really in our field. A professional will be exactly. able to help you. This is exactly right. the conversation we, we had uh, with one of the panelists and Mr. V. K. Arora, who is the president of Coal Merchants Association. Association. And he said that um, all of you are uh, senior office bearers of your associations, but you are busy in your technical field, what yes. you are uh, doing. E exactly. So it makes a lot of sense uh, to kind of outsource it to a professional who would do the job and you would be required to give an input. Of course, it's partnership, it's hand in hand. You would be required to give inputs and, and help us achieve a common goal. Dr. Sardar, what do you uh, think about the future of associations? Where do you see going forward? I think associations have a terrific role to play in the future. If we are talking about uh, reaching standards of excellence, mm -hmm. then you see there is no organization except this organization of professionals mm -hmm. which can look inwards, look into the depths of the matter, yes. see what the status is mm -hmm. and then see what the future is mm -hmm. and then see how to reach that goal. Right. And nobody else can do it for us but ourselves. Right. But in that process of achieving excellence, mm. we have to organize this conference, these association activities, mm. some of which are good, some of which are bad. And we need to know exactly what is the good things we can go ahead with, which we could concentrate our uh, resources on, and the uh, things which are not so productive. Mm. And I think that was a good, very one thing that I learned today. Uh, okay. it, it was a very excellent thing, the quadrangle that I think was set up, mm -hmm. and it was showed that there were areas yes. in which uh, we are doing maximum value, mm -hmm. but we are doing less expenditure of our resources. Mm -hmm. And there were areas in which mm -hmm. there are less value, but right. we are doing maximum expenditure of our resources. Right. And if we could concentrate on those areas mm -hmm. and then take it forward, then the association would be benefited right. to a huge extent. Of course. And that's a very good way of looking at the whole thing and then proceeding from there. It's a holistic view, actually. Yeah. Right. The other things is that uh, education. Mm. You see, medical education is a governmental job. Right. Now that the private medical colleges have come in, it's, they've gone into the private sectors here. Mm. But the overlooking of the entire thing of the professional education, once you've right. achieved your professional degree mm. and you're really out into the uh, open spaces, right. how do you take it forward from there? Mm. 
you see, adult education is basically self-education. Right. But that self-education cannot come about until there is direction to it. And the it right is a, direction. Yes, absolutely. And this direction has to be given by the association. Mm. And this is where association activities are huge. Mm. The third thing is that what the association does is spreading a good amount of interaction mm. amongst our selves. Right. You see, we hardly interact with our families. Right. We don't even know what the uh, special talents or creative areas in which the uh, uh, association members have. Have. Uh. And I'll just give you an example. Mm. You see, we are always uh, fund strapped. Mm. Uh, that's always there, how to get some funds. Now. Right. Now, we wanted to run a scholarship. That's exposure, actually, for yeah. you. The more you grow your exposure, the more you uh, attract eyeballs, the more your association is going to grow, the more yes. your members are going to grow. So and it's and, a and situation. also the public perception of what yes. we are doing. Right. So one aspect of this that we always wanted to do educative activities and we wanted to run sponsorships and scholarships, etc. Right. For our members, especially the junior members. Okay. But where the funds going to come from? Right. No one is going to get granted to us. Right. So what we did was we looked at our uh, themselves. We found a number of doctors are excellent photographers. Mm -hmm. And they take great photographs. So we asked them around and they uh, kindly sent us all their best photographers. We right. put up an exhibition of about 70 photographs. Right. And we managed to sell yes. the photographs. Okay, excellent. We generated money for that. We started mm. the scholarship, mm. and this happened in three months. Very nice. With virtually no expenditure from our side, mm -hmm. and all the benefits of the scholarship for the junior people coming in three months' time. Excellent, very nice. What has been your uh, take from this uh, conference which you attended? How do you think it's value added? To I think it's value added. It's, it's, uh, it's I know open. you couldn't make it yesterday. And I you couldn't make it yesterday, but I was so glad I could make it today. It really opened my eyes. Right. We, we have seen the different problems of the different associations. Mm -hmm. And basically, it all boils down to the same thing. Mm -hmm. A, how to get funds. Right. Two, how to utilize it properly. Right. And three, value-added stuff mm -hmm. to what exactly we are doing. Right. And uh, it's a, we've got inputs on all these three things. Mm -hmm. uh, we've looked at the problems which certain associations are facing. Mm -hmm. And they're not dissimilar to ours. See, it's the common thing when yes, all have come together. It's a common thing. It's, yes. it's not just, say, an industry association yes. or a professional association like us right. or, or some other association in which, uh, say, social service associations. Right. Because basically, we are a blend of all these. Yes. If you look at it objectively, yes. we are a blend of all these. So we are gaining inputs from all sectors. And the discussions have been fascinating. And it is a common platform wherein so many industries, so many associations come forward yes. and uh, they discuss uh, all aspects of it, yes. which is uh, also a very um, educative and informative session for you to take back home. Absolutely. So that's our uh, purpose and goal. Thank you so yes. much for uh, coming here and we hope to see you in, in the next Thank half Thank you so well. much. Thank you, Dr. Sardar.